Ugh. Hmm. Chapter 5 of 2nd Nephi. And I've had this sitting in the fridge for a while. Kind of afraid of it, actually. Smoked Porter, Alaska Brewing Company. A buddy of mine gave this to me, uh, my last camping trip. He had two of them. He drank the other one and went, you can have this. So, <laughs> Oh, it looks rather stout. Oh boy. Hmm. Let's see how this starts. Yep. Oh, time to let the head settle. Behold. That's not so bad. It's a little bold, but it's, uh, we'll see. Maybe it might overpower me. It does have a smoky kind of taste. Mm. Behold, it came to pass that I, Nephi, did cry much unto the Lord my God because of the anger of my brethren. But behold, their anger did increase against me, insomuch that they did seek to take away my life. Yea, they did murmur against me, saying, Our younger brother thinks to rule over us. And we have had much trial because of him. Wherefore, now let us slay him. Oh boy, here they go again. <sighs> that we may not be afflicted more because of his words. For behold, we will not have him to be our ruler, for it belongs unto us, who are the elder brethren, to rule over this people. Now... I do, now I do not write upon these plates all the words which they murmured against me. But it sufficeth me to say that they did seek to take away my life. Hmm, interesting. And it came to pass that the Lord did warn me that I, Nephi, should depart from them and flee into the wilderness and all those who would go with me. Wherefore, It came to pass that I, Nephi, did take my family, and also Zoram, and his family, and Sam, mine elder brother, and his family, and Jacob, and Joseph, my younger brethren, and also my sisters, <laughs> and all those who would go with me, and all those who who would go with me were those who believed in the warnings and revelations of God. Wherefore they did hearken unto my words. And we did take our tents, and whatsoever things were possible for us, and we did journey in the wilderness for the space of many days. So apparently it's just a tent city, they're too busy daydreaming and prophesying and all that, you know, and then farewell speeching. Uh, so, just a tent city, I guess. And then, a short time later, they're already divided. 
Uh, and after we had journeyed for the space of many days, and they needed to repeat that, <laughs> we did pitch our tents. And my people would that we should call the name of the place Nephi. Wherefore, we did call it Nephi. <laughs> and all those who were with me did take upon them to call themselves the people of Nephi. Doesn't say anywhere in this uh, <laughs> map <laughs> where Nephi is at. Uh, and we did observe to keep the judgments and the statutes and the commandments of the Lord and all things according to the law of Moses. And the Lord was with us, and we did prosper exceedingly. For we did sow seed, and we did reap again in abundance, and we began to raise flocks, and herds, and animals of every kind. And I, Nephi, had also brought the records, which were engraven upon the plates of brass, and also the ball, or compass, which was prepared for my father, by the hand of the Lord, according to that which is written in First Nephi. And it came to pass that we began to prosper exceedingly and to multiply in the land. And I, Nephi, did take the sword of Laban, and after the manner of it, did make many swords. <laughs> Just copied it, I guess. <laughs> so they got many swords. And Laban's sword was made of steel with a gold hilt. And they got these oars, so we got a bunch of steel swords somewhere that nobody's dug up yet. Yeah, yeah. He made many swords after that manner, lest by any means the people who are now called Lamanites should come upon us and destroy us. For I knew their hatred towards me and my children and those who were called my people. And I did teach my people to build buildings, and to work in all manner of wood, and of iron, and of copper, and of brass, and of steel, and of gold, and of silver, and of precious, precious ores which were in great abundance. Verse 15, you are a mess. <laughs> and I, Nephi, did build a temple. Wow, they had enough people to build a temple. And I did construct it after the manner of the temple of Solomon, save it were not built with so many precious things, for they were not to be found upon the land. Wherefore, it could not be built like unto Solomon's temple, but the manner of the construction was like unto the temple of Solomon. <coughs> and the workmanship whereof was exceeding, uh, exceeding fine. So this doesn't sound like there's that many people. And... I mean, God, the, building the Temple of Solomon was a big endeavor. It took a long time. And then the rebuilding of it. They just built it. <laughs> I guess pretty quickly. <laughs> it came to pass.
<sighs> and it came to pass that I, Nephi, did cause my people to be industrious and to labor with their hands. That would be good with something like cheese or something. And it came to pass that they would, that I should be their king. But I, Nephi, was desirous that they should have no king. <laughs> so humble and long suffering. <laughs> Nevertheless, I did. For them according to what that which was in my power. And behold, the words of the Lord had been fulfilled unto my brethren, which he spake concerning them, that I should be their ruler and their teacher. No, because they broke off from the Laman and Lemuel and the gang. So never were their ruler, Biatch, or their teacher. Just a nagging voice. <laughs> Wherefore, I had been their ruler and their teacher according to the commandments of the Lord until the time they sought to take away my life. Wherefore, the word of the Lord was fulfilled, which he spoke unto me, saying that, Inasmuch as they will not hearken unto my thy words, there they shall be cut off from the presence of the Lord. And behold, they were cut off from his presence. And he had caused the cursing to come upon them, yea, even a sore cursing, because of their iniquity. For behold, they had hardened their hearts against him that they had become like unto flint. Wherefore, as they were white and exceedingly exceeding fair and delightsome, that they might not be enticed unto my people the... Wait. Wait. As they were white, exceedingly fair and delightsome, that... They might not be enticed unto my people. The Lord did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them. That's verse 21 of Second uh, Nephi uh, chapter 5. Verse 21. The curse of Laman and Lemuel is to uh, get one hell of a tan. Yeah. And thus saith the Lord God, I will cause that they shall be loathsome unto thy people, save they shall repent of their iniquities. And cursed shall be the seed of him that mixeth with their seed, for they shall be cursed even with the same cursing. And the Lord spake it, and it was done. And because of their cursing, which was upon them, they did become an idle people. <laughs> idle. Full of mischief and subtlety, and did, seek, uh, and did seek in the wilderness for beasts of prey. And the Lord God said unto me, they shall be a scourge unto thy seed, to stir them up in remembrance of me. And inasmuch as they will not remember me and hearken unto my words, they shall scourge, wait, they shall scourge them even unto destruction. Ah. <sighs> uh. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, did consecrate Jacob and Joseph that they should be priests and teachers 
over the land and my people, apparently a little later because it came to pass. <laughs> And it came to pass that we lived after the manner of happiness. And thirty years had passed away from the time we left Jerusalem. And I, Nephi, had kept the records upon my plates, which I had made of, made of my people thus far. I pour some more in it. Oh well. And it came to pass that the Lord God said unto me, Make other plates, and thou shalt engraven many things upon them which are good in my sight, for the profit of thy people. Wherefore, I, Nephi, to be obedient to the commandments of the Lord, went and made these plates upon which I have engraven these things. <laughs> yeah. And I engraven that which is pleasing unto God. And if my people are pleased with the things of God, they will be pleased with mine engravings, which are upon these plates. And if my people desire to know the more particular part of the history of my people, they must search mine other plates. And it suffices me to say that 40 years have passed away and we have already had wars and contentions with our brethren. End of chapter 5. Pretty believable, huh? Okay. Well, see you in chapter 6.